All righty, pencils down. Our next competitor is Gabriel Machado, a geophysics PhD student whose presentation is entitled The Link Between Water and Earthquakes. What were you doing on Saturday, September the 3rd, 2016, at 7.03 a.m.? Well, I remember quite vividly that I was taking a shower, washing what's left of my hair, when this huge tremor began. Now, I had two choices. I could either seek shelter like a regular person, or I could run the heck out of there as fast as I could. Spoilers alert, I did nothing. I just froze until it ended. That was the day of the Pawnee earthquake, the strongest one we've had in recent Oklahoma history. As you probably know, the occurrence of earthquakes in north central Oklahoma has increased dramatically in the last few years. And as a consequence, a lot of research has been developed in trying to understand why is this happening. Well, one theory tells us that we are to blame wastewater injection wells. What happens is that every time a company extracts oil from the subsurface, in reality, up to 98% of what comes out is actually water. But this water is not safe for human consumption or to be disposed on rivers. So the cheapest alternative to get rid of it is by injecting it right back to the ground through wastewater injection wells. However, over time, this water can alter the physical properties of the underlying rocks. And if it's near, if it's injected near a, a geological fault, we believe this might trigger an earthquake. So if we want to prevent these earthquakes from happening, then we need to have a clear image of where those geological faults are located. And that's where my thesis comes to play. You see, we geophysicists, we create that image of the subsurface. We use a technology that is pretty much an ultrasound of the subsurface. We call this technology seismic. We basically send a signal to the subsurface, which bounces back off from rock layers, and then we record it with special instruments. Kind of like when you throw a ball to the wall and you pick it up as it bounces back. Well, now imagine that the ball comes back different depending on whether it hits a flat surface or maybe a corner or maybe a fracture on the wall. And now you have to try to create an image of the wall based on how the ball came back. Well, that's seismic. My thesis consists of applying a specific filter to the signal I mentioned before, the ball. This filter works similar to how Instagram or photography filters work. You see, geological faults are like almost vertical lines in the seismic data. And my filter highlights them in the same way the filter highlights the line edges of my face on the picture on the screen. So far, my filter has allowed us to better look at geological faults and understand them. And the next step will be to find potential links between earthquakes in Oklahoma, wastewater injection wells, and geological faults, and see who's really responsible for what. It's going to be huge. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.